In the Division 2, over 900,000 players have joined the Division 2 on November last year. And in 2024, just over the past 30 days, the average monthly players was over 400,000. Now I have a question for you. Do you think the Division 2 deserves more recognition? Now let's have a look at the Division 2 evolution since launch. Now the Tom Clancy's The Division 2 is a multiplayer action RPG developed by Massive Entertainment and released by Ubisoft in March 2019. Set in a past apocalyptic Washington DC, the game challenges players to restore order to the city after a devastating pandemic has left it in chaos. Now as agents of the Strategic Homeland Division, Players engage in tactical cover-based combat against various factions while exploring a richly detailed open world. The have a look at the evolution since launch. The content expansion. Since its launch, The Division 2 has undergone significant updates and expansion. The game's first year featured a series of free updates and seasonal events, including new storyline, game modes, and end game content. The subsequent major expansions like the Warlords of New York that was released in 2020 and Heartland that was released in 2023 introduced a fresh narrative and additional gameplay mechanics. Now each expansion has broadened the game's scope, adding new regions to explore, enemies to fight, and items to collect. Gameplay enhancements. The Division 2 has refined its gameplay over time. Early updates addressed balanced issues, adjusted difficulty levels, and introduced new skills and weapons. And the developers have consistently improved the game's mechanics, aiming to keep the experience engaging for both new and veterans. Seasonal content. In line with modern game trends, The Division 2 has embraced a seasonal mode. Now, each season introduced themed content, including new missions, challenges, and rewards. This approach has helped keep the player base engaged by providing regular time-limited goals. Community engagement. The developers have actively engaged with the community, incorporating feedback into updates and balancing changes. Regular communication through, through forms and social media has helped address player concerns and build a stronger community around the game. Graphical and technical updates. Over time, The Division 2 has received graphical and technical improvements, enhancing the visual fidelity and overall performance. Now these updates ensure that the game remains visually appealing and technically sound, even as hardware and software evolve. Now why does The Division 2 merits a closer look? The Division 2 merits a closer look due to its continued evolution and dedication to providing a robust, engaging experience. The game's dynamic world, coupled with its ongoing updates and expansions, ensures a continually fresh experience. Whether you're a fan of tactical shooters, a lover of detailed open world, or someone who enjoys a thrilling multiplayer community, The Division 2 offers a compelling package that has only grown richer since its initial release. Now let's dive into the misconceptions and challenges of The Division 2. Tom Clancy's The Division 2 faced several misconceptions and challenges, particularly in its initial reception and relative to other titles in the genre. Understanding these aspects provides a clearer picture of the game's trajectory and its position in the gaming community. Initial Reception In comparison with the first game, The Division 2 was frequently compared to its predecessor, Tom Clancy's The Division, that was released in 2016. The original game had a rocky start, plagued by issues such as a lack of endgame content and balance problems. As a result, expectations for The Division 2 were high, and many hoped it would correct the mistakes of the first game. While The Division 2 improved on several fronts, including endgame content and gameplay mechanics, some players felt it didn't innovate enough or address all of the issues seen in the original. Launch bugs and technical issues. Like many major releases, The Division 2 faced technical problems at launch. Bugs, performance issues, and several stability concerns were common critiques. This rocky start led to a mixed conception, with some players expressing disappointment over these technical flaws despite the game's potential. Perception of more of the same. Some players perceived the Division 2 as a more of the same 
Compared to the first game, while it expanded the universe and refined the gameplay, critiques and players alike felt that it didn't offer a revolutionary change or enough fresh elements to differentiate itself from its predecessor. Misconceptions and challenges. End game content and repetitiveness. One major misconception was that The Division 2 lacked sufficient endgame content. Although the game introduced new activities and a rich endgame progression system over time, some players felt that the core gameplay loop could become repetitive. The games focused on grind-heavy mechanics and gear optimization can sometimes overshadow its narrative and exploration aspects. Balancing Issues Balancing was a significant challenge. Now, The Division 2's gameplay revolved around technical content, but balancing the vast array of weapons, skills and enemy types has been an ongoing struggle. Players often found certain aspects of the game either too easy or too frustrating, leading to discussions about balance and fairness, DLC and microtransactions. As with many modern games, The Division 2 has faced scrutiny over its downloadable content, DLCs, and microtransactions. While the game has offered a substantial amount of free content, some players have been concerned about the pricing of additional expansions and cosmetic items. The perception of these practices can impact how players view the value of the game. Community and player retention. Keeping a game's player base engaged over time is challenging. Despite ongoing updates and seasonal content, The Division 2 has faced difficulties in retaining its player base. The game's reliance on seasonal events and updates can sometimes create a sense of urgency or exclusivity, which might alienate players who can't keep up with the schedule. In summary, while The Division 2 has made significant strides since its launch, addressing many initial criticism and evolving with new content and improvements, it still faces challenges till this day. Misconceptions about its depth and repetitive elements, balancing issues and concerns over DLC and microtransactions have shaped its reputation. Despite these hurdles, The Division 2 remains a compelling and evolving title that continues to attract players with its rich world and dynamic gameplay. Now let's dive into the game's unique features. Tom Clancy's The Division 2 stands out in the crowded landscape of multiplayer action RPGs. Through its distinctive features, gameplay mechanics, narrative depth and community engagement, here is a closer look at what sets it apart. Now, The gameplay mechanics cover based technical combat. The gameplay mechanics is a cover based technical combat. One of the core features of The Division 2 is its cover based combat system. Players must strategically use environmental cover to survive intense firefights. This system encourages tactical play where positioning, movement and teamwork are crucial. The game's robust cover mechanics offer a more nuanced combat experienced compared to many other shooters out there. Skill and gear customization. The Division 2 allows players extensive customization of their characters through a combination of skills and gear. Players can equip and mod a wide range of weapons and armor, each affecting their playstyle. Skills such as deploying drones, turrets or healing stations provide diverse tactical options. The gear system also includes various sets and mods that can significantly alter gameplay, fostering a deep level of personalization and strategy. Enjoying this video? Make sure to go down below and subscribe right now. While you're at it, press the like button and make sure you press the bell notification right now. Comment down below what video you guys want to see me do next. And thank you guys.